It's a great pleasure to address this prominent audience on such an important occasion related to women's political empowerment and leadership, a topic of great importance to the United Nations and to me personally too. I was a member of parliament in my country, New Zealand, for over 27 years and I served three times as Prime Minister. Being selected for a parliamentary constituency where my party was likely to win was one of the hardest initial steps on that journey. Because many viewed that constituency as, quote, a working man's seat, forgetting that there were as many female as male voters. I faced many of the challenges that would-be politicians among you no doubt face. I had to battle with other people's assumptions, including those of the news media. I had to build networks of support. And then in public life, I needed to build alliances around issues I thought were important, but wouldn't necessarily have been high on the priorities of a parliament where the majority of members were, and still are, male. Now, I believe the role of women in public life is much better understood. The global consultations around the future sustainable development goals in which Moldova has taken such an active part, show that supporting the needs and aspirations of just over 50% of the world's population, women, is key to achieving human development and a sustainable future. Yet, while the proportion of women in national parliaments has grown since the adoption of the Millennium Development Goals, women still make up only 21% of the world's parliamentarians. No country will reach its full potential if its female citizens do not enjoy full equality. And equal representation in the world's parliaments must be our objective. When I came to Moldova in 2010, I was pleased to note the increasing representation of women in the parliament. And I acknowledge encouraging trends since, including there being more women ministers and two deputy prime ministers. I trust that the initiative we're launching today, together with the Government of Sweden and civil society organisations, will further increase the voice and participation of women in public life in Moldova. I thank the Government of Sweden, especially Ambassador Tursman in Moldova, for their unwavering support. It does take courage to step forward for public office where few women have gone before but I strongly encourage those among you who believe you have something to contribute to do so. Step forward, believe in yourself, accept the support being offered by others, and also support other women along the path. All the best to each and every one of you.